got a lot of hair, bro. I do? Yeah, you do. But you act like you ain't know. I feel like it'll be kind of easy, man. Nah, I mean, it's not hard. It's just you gotta go over it a couple of All right, man, y'all check my boy out. Y'all see this link right here? He's talking about he wants an eight. An eight and a taper. Let's get to it. Let's get this man looking right. I bet you you clog my clippers up. I bet you you do. It's all good, though. It's all good. Uh, I was at a, uh, uh, a barber expo in uh, Connecticut. It's like the biggest barber expo in... In the world, in the world, oh, shit. Oh, not in the world. Well, yeah, well, you know, it might be in the world. I don't know. Oh, you know? Yeah. Right, well, I'm gonna have to freehand this down first before I hit it with that eight. You good though, man? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm the one that looks at this. You say what? I'm the one who wanted to cut it all off. Cut it all off? Yeah. All right, so as y'all can see, I'm just freehanding some of this hair down, clearing away some of this bulk before I hit it with that eight. So I'm just really just freehanding it, trying to be careful not to go too short, but I'm not really too worried because he's got a lot of hair, so I know an eight will still cut all this down. I just want to freehand it a little bit just to make it a little easier for me. You ain't got to do this, but, you know, I think it'll help with the debulking process. Uh, when's your last day of school? Uh, tomorrow. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, so you're trying to switch it up for the last day of school? Yeah. Trying to come in looking different. All right, well, as y'all can see, now I got it pre-handed down a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and take my number eight guard using the Low Pro FX, one of my go-tos. Go ahead and knock this down. Positive. Well, you know, it don't even matter. We already cut the top. Nah, you know, it ain't, it ain't that short. I mean, it's short, but. So we're just gonna go over the top a good amount of times, trying to get this all down. It may take us a good minute, but it's all good. We're gonna get this all down to that length, that number eight length, and then we're gonna start the taper. All right, so as y'all can see though, these low pros eating through this hair, I ain't gonna lie, I thought my clippers were gonna get clogged up. If you would've bet me, you would've won, just so you know. But as y'all can see, we're taking all this hair down to that eight. I'm gonna go over it a, good, a couple times just to make sure it's down to that length. And then I'm gonna start my taper process. You got a lot of hair, bro. I do? Yeah, you do. But you act like you ain't know. Uh, <laughs> I feel like it'll be kind of easy, man. Nah, I mean, it's not hard. It's just you got to go over it a couple. Oh, I almost bothered you. That would have been bad. Oh, On camera, too. All right, so now that we got it all down, obviously it's not 100% even due to the amount of hair he had on top. I'm going to go ahead and start to comb a little more of it out. Try to comb it down. That way I can come over the top one more time and try to get all these wild hairs, loose hairs. Try to get it to look as clean as we can. All right, so now what I'm doing is I'm just gonna keep combing it forward, going against the grain, trying to make sure I get it all even. Uh, it may not look even yet due to his hair being long for so long and him just like spiking it up, picking it out, whatever you wanna call it. So it may not be uh, may not lay down yet, but we're going we gonna to get there eventually. And as you can see with this texture hair, sometimes you're going to have to go different ways with it. Just to make sure it gets down to that length.
All right, so now I'm gonna take my Rebel trimmers. I'm gonna go ahead and ball them out. Since I have the trimmers in my hand, I'm gonna go ahead and line them up behind the ear. I'm gonna go ahead and follow this up with my shaver, my single fold shaver from Babyliss. All right, so now that that is done, I'm gonna go ahead and start debulking. So what I like to do is start with a number four guard before I start debulking. So I'm gonna go with my number four guard closed. And we're gonna debulk all this hair right here. Making sure that we're floating the clipper up in a way. That way it makes it easier to blend into the longer hair that we have on top. Now I'm gonna come down with the grain a little bit just to clean up any more of this bulk towards the top of this blend. All right, so now I'm gonna come right under that with my three guard level closed. Same thing, using a slight flick on motion, trying to blend into what I just did with my number four guard. Now what I'm gonna do is start blending up into what I just previously did. So I'm going with my clipper with my Starcraft Instinct, with the Andes Masters Blade, clipper open. I'm gonna set in my next guideline using a slight flick out motion, following the same shape that I originally created. Now I'm gonna go ahead and close my lever halfway. Work my way halfway into this section and then close it all the way and attack that bottom line. I got my number one guard on my clipper, lever all the way open, set in another section, following that same shape using a slight flick out motion. Once that section is, is in there, I'm gonna go ahead and close my lever all the way and attack the bottom of this area right here. So now I'm gonna skip my 1.5 guard and I'm gonna go on with my two guard, lever all the way open. Now I'm gonna try to blend this into what I did with that number three guard, or with that number three guard earlier on in the cut. And once I got that blended in, I'm gonna go ahead and close my lever all the way. Try to attack the bottom of this section. And as y'all can see, we got some discrepancies right here. So I'm gonna take my three guard. I'm gonna go in with my lever open first. Try to get this to look a little cleaner, a little nicer, a little more blended. And I'm not gonna overthink it because I have to line them up first and see how this blend looks with that lineup. All right, so before I do anything else, I'm gonna go ahead and line them up. Just because that blend looks, it ain't, it ain't perfect, but it's looking halfway decent, so I'm gonna go ahead and take my trimmer. I'm gonna go ahead and start in the middle of my client's head. Set in that initial line, and I'm gonna work my way over to the side of the blend that I was doing. Now I'm gonna hit that vertical bar up. Clean this line up a little more just to make it a little sharper. Hit the C cup. And now I can see this blend a little better, so I'm gonna go back in and start detailing. I'm gonna start off with my number two guard. I'm gonna go in with my lever open first, hit up some of this area right here. And I'm gonna adjust my lever close as needed. I'm gonna take my 1.5 guard lever open. Still do a little more cleanup work. Adjust my lever as needed. And then all this hair right here, I wanna make sure I keep combing down. That way I can see, as you can see, there's some discrepancies there. So I'm gonna comb it down. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on my foreguard first, just to see if it'll cut anything. And I gotta make sure I keep combing it down. That way I can make sure there's no discrepancies and no lines in the blend. But with this type of hair texture, as soon as you cut it, it wants to curl up. So you gotta make sure that you continue to comb it down. That way you can see what's going on with the hair. 
Now I'm gonna go on with my three. I'm gonna go ahead and go with my lever open. All right, now with all this hair right here, I'm gonna freehand it a little bit. So I'm just taking my flip, I'm just taking my clipper and floating it. Trying to get all this to look nice and even. I'm gonna do a little more detail work, but I'm gonna go ahead and use my lithium FX trim, uh, lithium FX clipper. I like to detail with a different clipper oftentimes just to help clean up the blend. I feel sometimes that works a little better and just gets the blend to look the way I need it to look. But that was my three, here's my two open. And then what I'm gonna do right here with some of this bulk, I'm gonna take my three guard open and I'm gonna come with the grain. It's not, it's not taking it off how I want to, so I'm gonna close my lever. Still not quite where I wanted at. So I'm gonna go in with my two guard, lever all the way open. I'm gonna do the same exact thing. And now I feel that that blend is looking better, coming together a lot better than what it previously, than the way it previously looked. All right, now I'm just gonna freehand the top a little bit. So we're gonna add a little bit of enhancement, make this headline pop a little bit. And we ain't trying to overdo it, we just spraying enough to where it darkens up these light areas and make the line look nice and sharp. Now we're just gonna finish everything off with some razor work. All right, guys, check it out. This is how my boy came into the shop looking. This is the before look. And this is the finished product. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this haircut in the comment section. If y'all like this video, make sure to smash that like button. Also, if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe one time for your boy. Remember, guys, if you're in the Houston, Texas area and you want a haircut from your boy, you can go to my website, tankbechopping.com. You can book there. Also, if you want to purchase any of these tools you see in my video, stylecraftus.com or babelishpro.com, use my discount code TANK10 on both of those websites. That way you can save yourself some money. But uh, yeah, man, that's basically it, YouTube. Remember, guys, let me know what I think about this cut, man. But with that being said, man, thank y'all for watching. I'm out of here.